Green Light Energy Solutions presents a model of the Waste Conversion Pyrolysis Facility, designed for processing municipal solid waste and many other waste materials. The facility will be composed of the following main elements. A sorting line, a shredder, a drying press, a storage bin, a reactor, a main burner, an oxidizer, an off-gas cleaning system, an energy block. Municipal waste initially passes through a sorting line to pull out ferrous materials by means of magnetic separators and to filter out inerts, glass, and concrete, materials that are not suitable for pyrolysis. The remaining waste is chipped in the shredder and passed to the drying press. The drying press allows for reduction of moisture content in the waste materials to 20%. The properly prepared waste is then collected in a storage bin. A transporting conveyor moves the waste materials from the storage bin to the reactor feeding unit where they pass through a hatch. The hatch allows for inclusion of waste materials while keeping air out of the processing chamber. The waste is then carried through by a motor-driven screw conveyor delivery system. The gear motor has been specifically designed to synchronize the motion of the screw conveyors in the reactor. The pyrolysis process takes place in a specifically designed pyrolytic chamber, our patented retort. The retort is heated up indirectly by burners located on both sides of the chamber, which assures uniform heating of the material and flexibility in process control. The waste is heated up to 850 degrees centigrade upon contact with the retort walls and is thereby reduced to syngas and a solid carbon char. The controlled temperature in the retort eliminates any dioxins in the carbon char and allows for further use of this byproduct. Dioxins and furans are thereby formed in the gas fraction only. The waste is moved along the retort by screw conveyors. The specific design of the conveyors allows for effective thermal transmission from the retort walls to the waste materials and their additional mixing, while preventing adhesion of the waste. The carbon char is then driven off into a special storage bin. Syngas is mixed with air in the main burner and directed to the oxidizer for combustion and further degradation. A thermal oxidizer operates at 1200 degrees centigrade and transforms syngas into carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and water vapor while completely destroying dioxins and furans contained in the syngas. A part of the oxidized gases, together with the retort flue gases, is heat exchanged to a waste heat boiler to generate steam. Another part of the oxidized gases is utilized for maintaining the temperature of the pyrolytic chamber. The heat energy of the steam generated in the heat exchanger can be transformed into electric energy in a steam turbine. Each waste conversion pyrolysis processing line generates from 5 to 7 megawatts of electric energy per hour, depending on the feedstock composition. The system off-gases are filtered in a multi-stage depuration system 
for environmentally safe release into the environment. The production capacity of the waste conversion pyrolysis system makes around 310 tons of unsorted raw municipal waste per day with an average moisture content of 